This is one lady with significant cataract which is brown in color and this is the fundus photograph and because the view was not perfect so a B scan was done and this is the B scan. Now this surgery is about managing our nucleus and these nucleus have a problem that during phaco massification they require a lot of phaco energy power and that can cause inflammation in the intraocular tissues especially the cornea. Now here we will talk about power modulation. Now power modulation in the phaco means that you can modulate your phaco energy so that it is optimally utilized. Now one thing to be understood about phaco power is that phaco power is just like a hammer which is being used to shatter things. Now when we hammer anything the force applied by the hammer will make the thing bounce away from the hammer. And same thing happens when the phaco power or ultrasound energy is applied on the nucleus piece. And the force which is pulling the nucleus towards the phaco tip is the fluid aspiration. So there has to be a delicate balance between them. Otherwise, there will be a lot of chatter. And chatter means when the pieces simply fly away after touching the phaco tip. Here we will see this that one of the features in the phaco machine by Appa Sami Associates which is known as orbit cool mode is so efficient in doing and preventing this chatter and at the same time in removing the nuclear fragments very efficiently. Now as we could have made out by now that this is a pretty hard nucleus which is also partly fibrotic and this is the primary chop which is conducted with ease and at this moment we are using the pulse mode and this is something like when you have on and off at moments so once we have chopped the nucleus into two or three quadrants or maybe even more than that so that these pieces are small enough to be manipulated and consumed by the phaco tip we switch to this power modulation mode which not only allows proper consumption of these pieces but also prevents the chatter. So here we are using a multi-chop mode where we are simply chopping the nucleus into multiple small pieces usually more than four maybe five six seven eight whatever is the feasible number so that the pieces are very small and once we have done that we switch to the power modulation mode and we'll see that. Now notice that how efficiently these pieces are simply pulled into the phaco tip and there's no chatter whatsoever and this is what is desirable so that the phaco energy is not wasted and at the same time the pieces are simply not cluttering around here and there and being simply pulled into the phaco tip. This means there has to be a delicate on and off duty cycle of the phaco power and as we can see in just a matter of seconds the phaco has been finished and the nuclear has been con consumed. This is Orbit Cool from Apasani Associates and I must clarify here that I have no financial interest in this product and this is just sharing some information and knowledge which can benefit all of us and also our patients. Once the surgery has been finished, the remaining cortex can be safely removed using irrigation aspiration cannula and I will encourage users or the viewers to switch to power modulation in whatever machine they have and they will definitely have some improvement in the optimum usage of the ultrasound energy which is very important to prevent any collateral damage to the intraocular tissues. This finishes off the removal of lens matter and now it is time to implant the intraocular lens. I have sped up those parts of the surgery which were not relevant to the nuclear nucleus removal. However, the nucleus removal was being done in single X or the real time speed. The eye oil goes into the bag and the trailing haptic is simply dialed. This finishes the surgery and this is the day one post-op picture which shows a very clear cornea in spite of having a hard nuclear cataract. And this is the final picture at day 7, which is again excellent outcome. Thank you.